Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we're playing Space Engineers. Today is the day when we um, delivered the rover to Earth. So here I have the Eagle Transporter prepared with a rover in its um, cargo, and I will go into the Eagle Transporter and we will take off. So the idea is to deliver the rover. Ah, by the way, I want to show you something. I I placed um yeah I placed one thing is that I placed the parachute hatch here at the top. Is um, that block that is connected to the um, to the connector there? <coughs> I also added um. A survival kit here look it has a survival kit so we can um, um, we can process uh, ore and we can uh, fabricate stuff and this truck is huge it's a monster truck it's huge I mean until you just um, step uh, beside it you, you you don't you don't realize the the size of this thing so keep in mind that that um, survival kit over me it's about two and a half uh, meters from the from the base of the platform <coughs> the wheels are huge as you can see so and we are going to deliver this thing to earth as a um, basically as a rubber pod I don't know how to call it but yeah there we go so it has a lot of um, containers so it's full of containers as you can see in the bottom it has like this um, ladder here so you can just hop in it from the ground And it has a mining drill at the at the back. So yeah, it's 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 pretty huge. Okay, so let's um, do this. One thing I have to remember: these batteries are now um, in recharge mode, but I want to uh, have them in auto because. Um, the the Eagle transporter is supposed to return by itself so I don't want it uh, running out of uh, power so basically we are going to go uh, close to earth and as soon as uh, the gravity gets a grip on our ship we're going to deliver the rover And I will then um, control the, the, the Eagle Transporter in such a way that um, that yeah I, do, I will act I have to activate the I have to activate the autopilot so it, it comes back by itself. Okay, so let's turn on engines. So the lift engines are on. We will also need the impulse engines. The dampeners are on. So let's go. Ready to go now. And we are going to lift up we have a lift up now and yeah we're getting away from the moon and probably I have to add another point to the to the to the control 
to the remote control a, a waypoint that is between earth and moon so let's go there by the way I, at the end i didn't activate this orbiter um mod So we are currently at full speed. The moon is just behind us. Everything seems nominal. So as soon as the um, as the earth gets a grip on us well i will i, I have to um orientate the the vehicle the best way is to orient it um so the 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 belly of the ship is pointing towards earth right because there uh, we have like all these um, hydrogen, hydrogen thruster uh beneath so this will make for a, a better stability. It will keep us on, in orbit, I think, the, 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 the thrusters. Okay, so let's see. So everything seems uh, nominal now. Are my boots um, activated? No. So let's see. By the way, I don't have um, atmosphere inside. I think the, the vents are off. So everything is freezing here. So there is the there is the rover right there. So yeah, we are prepared. We're getting close now. I think we should add this point, for example, as a um, waypoint. Let's do that. Just let's uh, name this middle point. Middle point. And then um, if we go to the controller, uh, we can add it. We could add this middle point. Oh, I don't see it. Where is it? <clears throat> okay. No, but it didn't add the point or, or it's middle point. Yes. This is the middle point, and then I want to add it. Oh, that's strange. GPS locations. Is this one? Ah, middle point, yes. Ah, that's strange. 
it's um, you saw there that it was with a default um, name okay so we can add it that's the middle point so this should go uh, first move up so middle point then above um, above moon base alpha and then moon base alpha landing pad that's it so one thing of this mission is to see if it's going to if the eagle transport is going to survive the the, the way back Okay, we I th probably we will be arriving at uh, daytime. That's good. And you can see here that hydrogen is 100%. We haven't had like significant power drain yet. couple of asteroids are in our in the way but this is a long trip certainly it, it looks um, it looks closer than it seems to and that that planet right there is it looks like Mars right So let's turn off the, the dampeners. I want to turn off the dampeners and uh, turn on the RCS. And go downwards a little bit. Oops, we we have okay. We have some asteroids coming. They are like in a dangerous I have to I have to go downwards but these asteroids are getting in the way. Um, probably the best thing would be to to go with uh, with the main thrusters here with the impulse thrusters downwards. Okay, now
we can, I think we can turn off the, the RCS. I'm not sure that the um, that it will have enough fuel or 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 power to to go back to earth. The problem is that when when it when the um, autopilot makes this trip it will do it with a uh, dampener on so one thing would be to have the dampeners off but this this is dangerous well we can try it <laughs> we can try it to see if it comes in one piece because yeah the the, the problem with the dampeners is that um, it's activating all the all the time the the, the thrusters Amazing, all the asteroids in the way.
so let's check the con the remote control uh, it has Inertia dampeners off, right? It seems. Inertia dampener. So it it shouldn't um, it shouldn't use the 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 dampener, right? Collision avoidance and and also precision. I will put it off. Precision is really bad. We can also change the speed limit. It will take longer for it to to return. But I don't know if this will. Um, no, it's hard to say if this will affect um, the the landing. As long as this uh, uh, as it gets in one piece, I'm happy. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay, now we have gravity. We have, um, yeah, because the, the artificial horizon is, is activated here. Uh, how much gravity we have, I'm not sure. Thirty-eight thousand. Okay. The altitude thirty-seven. Ah, from sea level. Okay. Space in real life is one hundred kilometers away. In this game, we are already thirty-five thousand or 35 kilometers and still way to go for the atmosphere so vertical 100 minus 100 it's just that I don't want to 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 spend a lot of time in the rover I will try to put the, the Eagle Transport to align it to Earth's surface and as soon as um, it's not it's uh, stable I will drop the, the truck and then I will activate the autopilot that's what I want to do really quite close now
22,000. Maybe the atmosphere is about, I don't know, 20,000 maybe? The dampeners are off. Okay, so I will have to turn on the dampeners as well. No, oh, that looks like a good spot right there. There's like a lake. It would be nice to, to be close to that lake. No, it doesn't seem at 20,000, maybe at 10,000. Okay, let's see. Okay, but I think we're quite close now. I will align the, the ship, I will activate the dampeners. And I will align the, the ship with the atmosphere. And the acceleration should be zero or close to zero. Yeah, there we go. It's reducing the speed more. It should be zero. Let's see. This could help. We're close to zero now. There, we are at zero. This could mean that we're falling, but then I think I have to go into the rover. So let's go into the rover now. 